Welcome back to another video. Am I wearing a different shirt from last time? Yes. I realized I didn't record an intro. <laughs> so I'm doing that now. Oh, it's nice to see you. I hope your week is just as good as last week. Today we are going to be sticking the prosthetic to the face and we are going to be putting on a makeup for the Hobgoblin Barbarian. So I hope you enjoy. There's going to be a little bit of voiceover, a little bit of conversation, you know, all of the good stuff. I look like a hedgehog. Okay. Enjoy. So Spirit Gum and I have a very strong love-hate relationship. Sometimes it works with me, sometimes it doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to smear that bad boy all over this prosthetic to make sure that she sticks. It is recommended in my non-professional professional opinion to try and hold your breath when you are sticking spirit gum near your nose because you will, in fact, burn out your nose hairs by the smell of that stuff. Now you might be wondering to yourself, are we going to leave it like this? Thank you for asking, even though you didn't. No, we are going to take a little bit more liquid latex and some very thin like pa like tissue paper that we're going to separate out. And we're going to thin these edges out more so that they are, it's weird to breathe, so that they are smoother against the skin. And then we will go in with the makeup and thing. It's actually recommended that you use tissues, but I don't have tissues. So we gotta work with what we've got, and what we've got is some Angel Soft toilet paper. And so we just gotta split it so that you separate the layers, and then we will get to the next task. But this is gonna take me a minute because I don't have nails anymore. So what I'm doing here is I'm using liquid latex basically as a mock glue on my face to stick the toilet paper to. You want to put some down first so that obviously the toilet paper has somewhere to stick and then you want to take the liquid latex on top of the toilet paper and smooth it both onto the prosthetic and onto the skin and like I said before in the last video you want to feather it out so it looks as skin like as possible. Honestly, I don't think we need to use this transfer because the rest of it I'm probably just going to do with scar wax. Yeah, I'll probably just do it with scar wax. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab that. All right, we have the first scar enlisted onto the face. Now we have to work on the second scar that is going to go on the lip. And then we can start putting on the foundation and all of the other things. So give me just a second to roll out some wax for that. So now I'm just going to clean off my spatula and I'm going to scoop out some of that coral color and we're going to apply it to the face. I have a big face so I scoop out quite a bit. We're going to place it on the tray. Any excess that doesn't go on the tray, just slap it onto your face because all product should get used. If you didn't know, which a lot of people might not know. Uh, hobgoblins are known to have a reddish hue or an orangish hue to their skin tone. Hence why we are doing this color. If you notice, I'm not taking the brush to all of this area. That's because due to the latex, um, I have to be a bit more careful because it'll show up very textured. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm also going to take a beauty blender to try and blend that out. I also might take my fingers over the scar wax in order to try and keep it in its place. 
but anywhere else I can reach is fair game for this brush. Voila. Now we are going to add some shadow, so I gotta do some color mixing and I'll be right back. So after adding all of the contour and highlight to the face, I'm going into the nose to really sculpt out where I want the shape of the nose to land on this flat surface. I also am going to take some of the brown and bring the nostrils up more since we have this pointed nose and we have all of this space on the front of the nose. It's best to bring the nostrils up to make it more of a realistic shape. The reason I've chosen brown instead of your typical contour color is because this entire palette is extremely warm, so you need to use a warm color to contour in order to make the colors work together and look correct. And of course, we have to go in and get some eyeshadow on this bad boy because our eyelids are looking a little naky. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I can't really smile with this, but like, this is so fun. Um, I'm gonna make the eyebrows a little more dramatic and then I am going to change and we're gonna have another narcissistic montage. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching. This was a long day building the prosthetic and everything, but we made it through and the look looks awesome. So thank you so much for watching again. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. It allows me to grow the channel and to share all of this really cool stuff with other people and also to connect with other creators in order to make even cooler stuff. So thank you so much once again for the third time because third time's the charm and I will see you in the next video. Bye.